Look, I live the life I deserve. There it is again. My GMC. Hey guys, let's get to the bottom of this. Here's my wheels. You can see them. And then you can see these guys. This guy. It's got the same exact wheels. They do look smaller. I think those are 17s. I think they go as small as 17, and those are what he has. So yeah, that's the last time I'm gonna bring that up. Just crazy. I never saw someone with the same wheels. I think I might have once. But this guy, I see him all the time now, so. Oops, I think I, I think I parked up a little bit too high. Oh yeah. Should I just park like that? Maybe the best idea. <laughs> oh yeah, right there. <laughs> Gotta love the snow, man. Damn, my truck looks high as shist. This is how high I gotta lift it. Alright man, hit you up in a second there. Oh my gosh! What is up guys? We just got off. Let me cold start her up real quick. Oh yeah, she sounds really good today. Listen to that. Oh yeah. So I figured out a solution that I might do for this truck. And that is to dump it. Well, a temporary solution before I get a full kit is to just dump it right about here. And then maybe put a giant exhaust tip. And yes, axle dump the gas. I mean, you may be saying, yeah, I can't blow any smoke out of it. What's the point? Well, it's, the sound is still going to go straight to the ground, which is going to make it still a lot louder. So that may be something I'm going to do, at least temporary for now. And it's very easy. So I just got to saw it off. It just doesn't look as good with an exhaust that has a body lift because the, the pipe is just really exposed. It's just no good. So that is that's probably what I'm going to do most likely with this truck. Right, sorry about that. I had to post a picture up to my Instagram. So follow me there at UpshiftZ71. I always post pictures of cool trucks. And a lot of the time I post pictures of my own trucks as well. So I always do it daily though. And I have over 2,000 pictures. I used to always post them very fast and very rapid. I don't really have the time now. So I probably post about one or two a day, sometimes for let her warm up for a little bit. But today is the finalization here. I'm going to get all my questions answered. And once it's all figured out, I'm gonna be dropping off this truck. So it's finally happening now. I know it's taken a while. It would have been a lot faster. It would have already been dropped off, I don't know, days ago, maybe a week ago. But I just need to get everything perfect here. I need to have it. 100% comes to us we need to have things perfect so that is why it's it's all question and answer everything's got to be made sure of down to the last I don't know part or portion of each vehicle so trust me guys the way is going to be worth it because it's going to look good and the way I want it so we're going to keep moving on with it too so once it's done we obviously need to get those tires on too so I want to get that on shortly after maybe at the same time so definitely checking for that one so all I have to do is call call in and then get everything situated and today's going to be the day of the finalization get all the papers signed over and everything so it's going to be good to go so yeah let's head home going on down here so I'm taking a detouring route Let's see if we can get around them 
What in the... What is happening? First, first I thought this guy was stuck, but that's not the case. Uh, I don't know what was going on. Well, that's weird. Those truckers are literally just sitting there for whatever reason. I have no idea. Stopped under that bridge. They're not stuck at all. There's easily enough clearance, so whatever. Thou long time.